Today we will be talking about sharpening in Lightroom. First of all, just a myth about sharpening. The function of sharpening is not to fix an out of focus shot. You have to get this right in camera. It is there to improve on an already sharp image. There are three types of sharpening that we get. First of all, we get process sharpening, which will happen here in Lightroom in the details tab. And we will be looking at these sliders just now. Then we get cosmetic sharpening, which will happen here in the adjustment brush uh, section, where we can apply a sharpness to a specific area in the image. And then we get output sharpening. And this is when we export an image. Then we have a choice. Under output sharpening, we have a choice of either sharpen for screen, matte paper, or glass paper, and then the strength of the sharpening can be selected. A word of caution, though, is that if you have imported raw images, just keep in mind that Lightroom's raw converter will add an amount of sharpening on import already, so we must try not to overdo things when it gets to sharpening. We will be looking at the uh, process sharpening first and what this means is that the sharpening will be applied to the full image. In the details tab, first of all there is a little black triangle that we can click and this will activate a zoom in screen and if we pick up this little icon we can put it and click it over a specific area which will then be visible for us to watch the sharpening uh, of this image. Secondly, um, it is important to zoom your image in uh, one to one in order to make sure that we can actually see the sharpening that's being applied. When we get to the sliders, the first slider uh, will be the amount of sharpening. And in order to actually see what has happened, we can press the Alt key and this will change this into a black and white image and it will make it much easier to actually see the sharpening happening. I'm going to apply a sharpening of around 45%. Then the next slider we can uh, work with is the radius slider and this is measured in pixels. Now what will happen with sharpening um, is that it will look at the edges. Lightroom will perceive certain areas as edges and if you adjust the radius what you do is that you extend the sharpening outside of those perceived edges with one or two or three pixels. Again if we press the Alt key while this is happening you can physically see this in the image and you have an embossed version of this image and it's easy to see. Personally I prefer roughly around one pixel will be more than enough. When we get to the details slider you can again press the Alt key and you will have this embossed version and you can see how the sharpening will be applied in the detail. Now why a detail slider? This is the high frequency information that will be sharpened and this function is fantastic if you need to enhance textures. I'm not going to apply too much of that and sharpening has been done. A problem that we have with specific images, for instance a portrait like this or a landscape is that the sharpening causes noise in the smooth areas. We basically just want sharpening around the edges and we don't want any sharpening on the smooth or sky areas in the case of a landscape. This is where the masking comes in. If you press Alt again and you drag the masking slider to the right, a mask will be applied and everything that you see in white is where sharpening will be applied and the specific settings you have at the top. 
and where it is black the sharpening will be held back in that area. I'm going to zoom out just to show you the effect and you can actually just play with the slider until all the edges are selected and the smooth areas are blacked out. In other words, it will be held back. An easy way now to see the effect will be to switch this detail tab on and off. And this is an easy way to view the before and after. This is the application of process sharpening. The next type of sharpening we get is cosmetic. And all that it means is that we apply sharpening in a localized area. For this function we go to the adjustment brush and we apply a percentage of sharpening. You can change this after you have painted some sharpening into an area that you want. You choose a brush, a brush size, the feathering and you can have the auto mask on or off. In this case I'm going to switch the auto mask off and I will be painting in to specific areas extra and localized sharpening. Uh, just a word uh, on the auto mask. If you switch on the auto mask what will happen is if you've got a very complex area and you want to apply the effect within that complex area you switch on the mask and Lightroom will intelligently choose the area within which you are painting. When you are finished with your localized or cosmetic sharpening, you can adjust the strength of that sharpening uh, afterwards. And now we will be talking about output sharpening. We have to go to the library module and export our image. And when we export the image, we go to the output sharpening tab. And this is where you must realize that an image is not always ready for all different functions. An image that is ready for print is not the same as an image that is ready for screen. So what we do in this case, we click the sharpen for tab and uh, we then choose and we've got three choices here between screen for the internet or slideshows, matte paper if you're going to print on matte or glossy paper if you will be printing on gloss and then you can choose the strength which is low, standard or high. I'm going to leave this on high and then you can click export and your ex export sharpening will be applied during the export. And this concludes our section on sharpening in Lightroom. Thank you for listening.